right. All right, troop, about to get this get this underway. Uh, um, we'll we'll give it about maybe thirty seconds, and we'll get started in tonight's product training class. We don't have the uh, my normal light tripod setup. We came back from the boot camp in Atlanta. I ain't even unpacked that stuff yet, so we just over here on the regular cell phone. So don't expect all the lights and the good angles and everything, and don't expect me to be on here for no three hours or nothing crazy. We're just going to get right into this product training. Uh, my name is Will Zanders. I'm one of your resident diamond ambassadors here at uh, Go Desana and the Green Organics family of companies. And uh, get your paper and pen. We, we'll give you about another 20 seconds to grab it, but get your paper and pen. We are going to be talking about some, some really uh, interesting information this week. Really, really interesting information. Drinking, drinking my juice, obviously. For those of y'all who are not with HBN already, uh, you're missing out on some bomb products. Two of which are my favorites are black seed oil and fulvic acid. Definitely want to be a part of the full spectrum of green organics family of companies. Uh, nobody is um, paying commissions like this and nobody is uh, has products like this in the marketplace right now. Nobody in the world. Your doctor ain't even got products like this. But we'll talk more about that in a second. Uh, let's see if we can get some comments on the screen tonight. Uh, yesterday, we were having some trouble with the, com with the comments. Uh, there we go. Stephanie Wilcox in Virginia. Good to see you. We about to um, blow some minds tonight. Coach Marcus Jones, one of our resident Diamond Ambassadors here at Go to Sana. Shout out to Coach Belinda Smith from PA. Welcome, 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 welcome. Betty Chandler, yeah, I was outside yesterday, Betty. No, no cats tonight. No, no, no felines messing with the recording tonight. Jay Hill, St. Louis, what's up? Miss Sharon's, good to see you. Jojo Bear, good to see you. Trinidad and Tobago, gang, good to see you. My big brother, Stu Large, out of L.A., good to see you. The man with the plan on the call tonight. A lot of people don't know, but uh, Stu Large is responsible for building one of the largest organizations in network marketing history. A lot of people don't know that story because he's so humble. Wonderful, wonderful brother right there. Joy Robinson, good to see you. Miss Betty Chandler, good to see you. Seymour, Saginaw, Texas, good to see you, my friend. Missy McCallum in Michigan. Hey, Missy, good to see you. Okay. Jamaica representing tonight. We got all the beautiful countries going on tonight. Welcome, welcome from Jamaica. Ken Krajovic, welcome. Shout out to my brother from another mother, Coach Sonic Jones, a platinum, soon to be diamond uh, here at Go Desana. Coach Sonic Jones has built some amazing teams in the industry of network marketing around the world over the years. Latrice, what's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yo, yo, I see you from the Bronx representing BX, Coach Sonic. Largo, Florida. Hello, Dawn. Good to see you. Tommy Waldron, Texas in the house. I see we got the Patriots on the call tonight. Good to see you, brother, and God bless America. Miss Lynette Jamat, welcome. Tell Derek I said, hey, Miss Lynette, hey. All right, Miss Steph, we see you. Marlena, good to see you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it popping. We'll get wrapped up right around the top of the hour, man. But I wanted to get y'all this information tonight. And we, we went in a slightly different direction, okay? Elizabeth, ladies and gentlemen, let me give a shout out to the one and only Elizabeth Harper as well in the uh, Ed Banks organization. Elizabeth came out of the gates here at Go to Sana, uh, blew it up, hit uh, Influencer, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, soon to be Diamond as well. we got a lot of about to be Diamonds on this call, so that's exciting for everybody. My friend Kathleen LaMare out of Streamwood, Illinois, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Look, I can start the call. Kathleen on now, I can start the call. <laughs> I can officially start the call. Kathleen LaMare is in the building. Okay. All right. Love y'all, man. Y'all are beautiful people. I love you. Y'all are fantastic. So um let let's let's go ahead and get this get this party started. Tonight, um what we were gonna do previously, and I can tell you I I I, I like to be authentic, I like to be transparent with y'all whenever possible. Um oh wait, pause, pause. I want to give a shout out to Isaac Williams, ladies and gentlemen, another one of our diamond ambassadors 
uh, here at Go Design. Whenever I see I, my, my fellow diamonds in the house, I always got to pause for the cause and represent them. They have earned it. And hey, Miss Wendy for Columbus, good to see you as well. Illinois team dynasty in the house. Yes, sir. All the teams in the house tonight. Man, we got some beautiful teams in the house tonight. So let me let me stop doing shout outs because I'll do that for an hour and then just be like, all right, y'all, I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Because I love seeing y'all so much. I love representing with my Green Organics family, my Go Designer family. Um, and let me let me uh, get this situated right here. Two things. Number one, um, I was going to uh, talk about tonight about the most complex, the most uh, uh, oil that has never been seen ever before in the history of network marketing outside of Green Organics. And as I started to do my research earlier today, uh, a couple hours ago, I said, you know what? I got three or four hours before the call. It's all good. Four hours is plenty of time to do research on the oil, uh, to, to do a call. And I'm going to tell you right now, I was wrong. I was wrong. There is one oil that is the most complex, uh, chemically, the most complex, the most fascinating oil. This oil blend that I was going to talk about has over 40 different oils in it, something like that, over 40 oils, which is just crazy to me. I don't even know that's how even possible. So I found myself having to do research. I think it's like 30 or 40 oils. I, I'm look, it, there's no way I could give y'all the depth of research and knowledge that I like to do with the oil that complex with only four hours. So I'm a basically uh, have to, I know, no, it's crazy, but, but, but go to sign the oil. Alexandria Brighton is a mad scientist. She is a genius when it comes down to essential oils. And she creates things that have quite simply never been created before in the history of known civilization. And we've been dealing with essential oils as a humanoid species for over half a million years. Okay, so essential oils have been out since before people because God created the plants and the vegetation and the fruit before he created people. So I don't care if you go to evolution or you go to the Bible or a combination of both or science, whatever however you look at it, essential oils have been out before us. <laughs> so just know they've been, we grew up as a species around essential oils. Okay. As a human being species, we developed and grew up around plant products and plant-based nutrition and things of that nature and animals as well. But that being said, yeah, bit off a little more than I can chew. So I'm going to try to run that one back next Tuesday. That'll give me a couple days to really do the research that is required. The research that does um, that product justice when I do research on coaching and teaching for y'all, I do not just go to Google and go, oh, what's the benefits of this? Oh, there we go. I don't do that. I do actual scientific research, medical, metaphysical, you name it. And it takes a long time. So what I ended up doing was flipping the script. And we're going to talk about tonight. Tommy, I can tell you, but I'm going to wait for the teacher. I'm waiting for the coaching on that one. Now everybody going to get off the Zoom and go Google it and look it up. I'll tell y'all at the end. Uh, maybe, maybe. All right. So we're going to be talking about the oil of the month club oils uh, for November because I want everybody to see the value of being on auto ship on the first of the month in case these sell out. I'm going to just tell you. And those oils are going to be balsam fir. Okay, I was very, very impressed with balsam fir. We're going to talk about balsam fir in a second. And then also compassion. Now, I happen to already have a bottle of compassion. I didn't have balsam fir on me. I was waiting for my auto ship for next month. And I got a, a bunch of other oils I just ordered. But I didn't get something. I didn't get balsam fir because I didn't plan on teaching on balsam fir yet. But we got compassion. I'm about to put that on a couple drops of that. Get a good whiff of that. That is potent, and any oil I have left, y'all know I like to rub it on the back of my neck, get it on the carotid arteries over there, not the carotid arteries, the carotid arteries over there, and let the rest go into my hands and just get some good moisture in there because uh, coconut oil and jojoba and different oils are in these, so sometimes, um, you know, if you have sensitive skin, you should always use a carrier oil. But I'm real thick skin in Louisiana. We got skin like alligators, so we don't. I don't really use a lot of carrier oils. And our oils are formulated so amazingly, um, you can kind of get away with that, but not everybody. So, so quick disclaimers. Number one, 
Uh, I cannot tonight claim that the products treat or cure or prevent any disease. That's the legal medical disclaimer I have to give you. Number two, I highly recommend before you use any of the essential oils, do not as I do, do as I say. Go to the GoDesigner website, go in your back office, and get the Responsible Cautions audio. You can also find it on SoundCloud. You need to be familiar with responsible safety precautions, these oils. Also, when you're looking in the back office, underneath, for example, Compassion, under the product information page, you're going to see a section on there that says responsible safety precautions. You should always educate yourself before using these oils. I'm telling you, I know you get excited, you get fired up. Ooh, I want to use the oil. I want to do this, that, and the third. You got to be smart because these oils sometimes will be harmful to you if you use them the wrong way. These oils might hurt you real bad if you try to ingest them and they're not one of the ingestible oils. Sometimes your pets or your dogs or cats do not need to be around certain type of essential oils. You know how if a dog or a cat is out and get into a certain type of plant, it can have a toxic effect and kill him? It's no different with essential oils. Parrots, reptiles, kids, birds, pregnant women, nursing. These oils are so powerful and so potent. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply telling you when you're dealing with something that is powerful, that this potent, you, you, you need to exercise all responsible safety precautions, just like you're learning how to use a knife or a scalpel or a, a lighter, anything that can cause danger that's helpful to society, you need to be familiar with the safety. And that's the disclaimers that I always give you. Because it's the truth, okay? Now put a one in the chat if y'all can hear me okay. Somebody tell me the lie. Let me know if y'all can hear me okay. Yeah, let me know. All right, I'm freezing. Let me put a one in the chat if I'm coming through smooth now. Yeah, Facebook, Facebook be trash sometimes, for real, for real. I'm waiting right. Yep, Tommy knows. They are on the product information pages. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a lot more safety information than just that, though. That's like the bare minimum. We want y'all to be experts on safety. Okay? Y'all are independent distributors. All right? It's a big, 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 big responsibility right there. Put a one in the chat of y'all. Okay, Pam, I'm good. All right, one at the moment. All right, well, fingers crossed, Elizabeth. Let's get it popping. Okay. Um, and last but not least, if y'all hear us talk about, any, hear me talk about tonight, any income claims, anything like that, there'll be true stories about money, uh, but we're not claiming that you can make a bunch of money or get rich or nothing like that. That's another disclaimer that I have to give, okay? So let's kind of dive into it. And again, for those of y'all who I haven't met yet, my name is Diamond Ambassador Will Zanders, and I absolutely love Go to Sana and the Green Organics Family of Companies. And we're going to stick around to the end. We got some fun stuff for y'all at the very end. Um, I have two things um, that I've never seen before that I want to share with y'all about at the very end. So stick around. Two things I've never, I've never seen it before in research, but I found it today. Okay. So we're talking about balsam fir right now. And balsam fir is one of the, okay, let me know if y'all, I got somebody else saying that y'all can't, Yolanda says she can't hear me, but everybody else, am I put a one in the chat if I'm good? And I'll just wait. I want to make sure we're good. <laughs> Lean with Charlie. That's right. That's good, Tommy. <laughs> That's my boy. All right, we're good. If I'm not good, let me know. But we'll just keep running, all right? Thank y'all so much for that, all right? Now, we're talking about balsam fir first because balsam fir is our uh, October oil of the month, okay? It's the October oil of the I mean, October, uh, November oil of the month. So for all of our auto ships that go out, even at the 10 BV level, okay, you're going to get balsam fir as your oil of the month. For those of you who are on the seasons of success. Oh, I'm live on my story. Morgan, for real? I didn't even know that's possible. I'm No, I'm not live on the story. Hold on, MJ, for real? Hold on, I, got, I ain't never seen this before. Let me see if I'm live on my story for real. No. I'm not live on my story. I thought I was. That would be crazy. I wish I was. Oh, I'm not sure what you're saying, but I got excited for a second. I thought I was live on my story, y'all. I ain't never seen that before. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, maybe I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, I wish I was. That's turnt. And if I am live on my story, hey, everybody on the story, gang, gang, we in here. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. So let's get back to, yeah, I don't know what happened. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, so, and if, you, and if you're on the, um, and, and, and if you're on, uh, oh, I am? That's crazy. Well, welcome live on the story. What up? What up, story gang? Good to see y'all. All right. <laughs> Good to see you. So, yeah, I did not know that. I did not know how I even did that, but that's that's literally gangster. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's cool. I love that. I don't know how that even works, but that's, that's incredible. Yeah, I didn't know that. All right, I learned something new today. Learned something new today. So, back at it. Back at it, okay? So, um, and if you're on the Seasons of Success Essential Oil Package, you're going to get the Compassion Essential Oil, and you're going to get uh, Balsam Fur. And I highly recommend, only for my top earners, uh, only for my top earners, I recommend you being at 50 BV. And those are the different levels. So if you're, let me just be clear. So if you're not on auto ship at all, okay, and I, I don't care how much CV you're getting a month. If you're not on auto ship on the 1st or the 15th or something like that, you're not actually in go to sign it. You're a customer and we love you. Okay. Facts. Appreciate you, MJ. So it, it's facts. So if you, oh, wait a minute. Yep, the man has entered the building. Shout out to Ed Banks, another one of our good designer diamonds. Good to see you, my boy. Got to pause the calls whenever the diamonds get in the building, okay? So right now, if you're not on auto ship of any type, we love you. It's all good, but you're a customer, and we love you as a customer. We love our customers because we love our products, and our products literally love our customers, and our customers love our products. So that's fantastic, okay? If you're on auto ship, though, on the first of the month, that would be wise, even if it's 10 BV. Okay, even if it's 10 BV, it would be wise. Why would that be wise? Because now you can earn income, okay, from your efforts and you're not going to miss out on any money. Jessica right here skipped right to it. Jessica White Knight Hill says, I am on auto ship for the first of the month and 50 BV. She is all in. So that's the people who are in Go Designer. All right, some people are at 20 BV still. And I love that. That's beautiful for you. People like, man, I'm on auto ship the first of the month and that's fire. That's great. You're in Go. You're in go and we love you. You're a team builder and you're in go and you're amazing and we proud because we hype. But when you do what Jessica did, when you do what Ed did, when you do what Isaac did, when you do, when you go to 50 BV on the first of the month, you're not in go no more. You in go to sign. There's a difference. There's a difference. Okay. If you had 20 BV first of the month and you getting these seasons of success oils, you in go and you a hero and we love you. If you want 50 BV and you really getting these products into the marketplace, you know what the Christmas gifts going to be for everybody. The Christmas gifts are going to be essential oils for everybody. You already know what they get. They're getting diffusers and essential oils. 50 BV first of the month, guess what you are? You're in Go Design, and I love you. I love you the most, <laughs> right? I used to always ask my parents, who's your favorite kid? And they'd be like, we don't really have a favorite kid. And I'd be like, y'all lying. I'm the favorite, ain't I? I'm the 50 BV kid for my parents on the first of the month. My little brother, he 20 BV first of the month. And my baby brother, he's just a customer. He just buys stuff sporadically. But me, I'm the gold designer for my parents. I'm the oldest and they love me the most. I'm the one that made them parents. You know what I mean? I'm the 50 BV first of the month. And, and that's gold designer around here. Yeah, Missy says she got a Christmas cash. Christmas cash is already rolling. So for those of y'all who haven't been really plugged in, here, Demetrius, shout out to Demetrius Murray at the 50 BV, Missy at the 50 BV, Pamela with the 50 BV, Pamela Edwards, Missy McCallum with the, that, that's what I'm saying. When we have an opportunity to make more money and help more people and get more products into the marketplace, that's when you have an opportunity to really fulfill the mission of impact that we have here at Go Design. And right there, Akua Offset, one of the baddest product trainers in the history of network marketing. The baddest, okay? Uh, right out of Chicago. She's on the call tonight. Welcome, Akua. She really... Uh, I think she changed the game this weekend. Akua changed the game this weekend in Atlanta. And, and hopefully uh, we'll get her training on one of here and she can show y'all how to make some of these incredible products that she makes with these oils. And Miranda LeVette Williams, let me give a shout out to Miranda right quick. Uh, Miranda is at 200 BV and go to sign a shout out to you. Miranda, Miranda loves the product. She wants the products in the marketplace for herself and to help other people as well. And I want to give a shout out to Coach Marcus Jones, obviously, uh, one of the diamonds in the building at 50 BV, but Janice and Renee as well, also at 50 BV. And, the, and again, you don't have to feel pressured to be at 50 BV, but if we're doing work, if we're doing work, we want to get the most income. If I'm going to enroll someone and they're going to enroll someone, if I'm building a team, I don't want to miss out on $200 in Christmas cash bonuses. I don't want to miss out on $200 in Christmas cash bonuses. I'll still get paid. If I'm doing my work and doing what I'm supposed to do to, to, to impact lives with these products, but I don't want to miss that too. I don't want to miss out on two hundred dollars just cause. I, I don't know about y'all, but I, I like cash money. You all right? Yeah. Marcus says his wife and daughter's at fifty BV. Of course, I know for sure MJ's at fifty BV. I, I couldn't even hang out with her if she wasn't. Um, let me see. Wendy going to fifty BV. Yeah, yeah. That because that that and that's a new occurrence. So if y'all didn't know that. It's okay. Jessica said her husband is at 50 BV. Of course, Miss Betty Chandler at 50 BV. That's people who are already on understanding step one in the process. 
And step one is becoming a product of the product, okay? That's the integrity thing, and we love you for that. All right, let me dive into this training before we get caught up in everything else. So I already did all the disclaimers. Let's get to work, all right? I love y'all so much, man. Thank y'all for being with us tonight. I love you so much. So balsam fur, our oil of the month, okay? And a cool last one, I got to say it. Dr. Brooks going on 50 BV, of course, my favorite doctor, all right? And uh, and, and Miss Wendy's mom said her mother just heard this live and said she's going 50 BV. Wendy, is that Miss Loretta? Is Miss Loretta your mom? Did I remember her name right? So so she can get the money. You got moms looking out for daughters out here. Let me know if if I can give, tell Miss Loretta I got to come. I got to give Miss Loretta a hug. That's her. I got to give Miss Loretta a hug, man. I, I ain't been... To y'all neck of the woods in a minute. I got to come see y'all, man. I miss you and Paul and Katie and everybody. No, all right. Not for real. Now I got to stop. All right. Now we got to go ahead and get this stuff going. Lynette, I see you. I see you and Derek. All right. Here we go. Balsam fur. Hmm. So we're looking at an article starting off on balsam fur. And we're looking at an article uh, from the Journal of Plant Medicine. This is a 2003 article. Okay. And it was talking about the anti-tumor activity of balsam fir. Now we know balsam fir smells good. It's a very kind of pine foresty type fragrance. It is super, super noticeable. When you smell balsam fir, you know that you smelled it before because it's one of the most popular fragrances, especially during the winter season, okay? Coming into Christmas and stuff like that. And there's a lot of different balsam trees, but balsam fir is what we're talking about. The, the Al Albis balsamia, the Latin name, right? And so we know it does all these kind of great fragrance things. We know that. But real balsam fir oil uh, induces, there's a, a chemical that it creates, that it, that it has alpha humulene, and it literally uh, has anti-tumor activity. So it helps people, and this is not me, this is PubMed.gov peer-reviewed medical research. This is not anything Will Zander saying. This is something from doctors and medical research from around the world. And it uh, helps with preventing tumors and shrinking tumors. And I thought that was really interesting. Some people who might supposed to get tumors because of their lifestyle and their nutrition, they'll have balsam fur and maybe they won't get it. That's what the articles are saying. And for people who have tumors, especially cancerous tumors, balsam fur can help with that. And that's really wild. Next up was an article from May of 2006. And it was talking about not just the anti-tumor activity of balsam fur essential oil, but it was talking about the antibacterial activity of essential oil. So how many people on here has ever heard of staph infection? Okay, that comes from the Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. How many people ever heard of staph infection? Okay, I knew a guy who got staph infection from a gym one time. Okay, and the staph infection got so bad, they had to cut a hole out of his hand. Like they had to, to get the infection out, they had to remove a huge chunk of flesh from his hand because it was staph infections, brutal. But this article in 2006 in May from these particular doctors, they found that balsam fur uh, whooped staph infection, okay? And then I also found that historically speaking, the Native Americans would use balsam fur all the time to prevent infections, in particular, the infection that we now know of as staph infection. So balsam fur scientifically proven, exactly, a flesh-eating disease, okay? Balsam fur prevents that and, and fights that and whips it. So balsam fur is one of the top things you can have uh, if you're trying to fight infection or if you're out just around people and sweat and everything else. You need your high school athletes. Ladies, listen, I'm going to tell you, if you got sons playing football and basketball and daughters playing sports, Akua Aset taught us at our boot camp in Atlanta. And, and just an FYI for anybody who didn't, who didn't know already, the next boot camp is going to be in January, okay? And we're going to get you some details on that. Message me directly on Facebook if you want the details on our next HBN. Uh, I mean, Green Organics, go to sign a live boot camp, okay? Freestyle said her son had flesh disease when he was 16. Yeah, so Akua taught us how to make products with Himalayan sea salt, go to sign essential oils, distilled water. I highly recommend, I highly recommend you make some products with balsam fur in there uh, as a spray, if y'all got stuff like that, especially, look, Ruth work in a hospital. Ruth, this is all natural, all organic. You can, um, you know, get 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 the recipes on there. And Aku is such a good product trainer. She taught us how to make sprays with the essential oils over the weekend, okay? So if we're really lucky, she's going to do that again in January for us. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So next up, we found an uh, article 
in um, the Medical Veterinary Entomology Journal. And this is a June 2014 article from June 2014. And this is where, yeah, it's real, it's real. And so uh, we really found this article interesting because it was not done on people. This article was actually done on animals and it was done using a spray, just like the kind we talked about, of balsam fir, all right? And it, but they used a type of emulsifier with sunflower oil so they could spray it and it would stick, okay? They wanted to use something that would stick a little bit. And this was used on outdoor cows, just hear me out, hear me out, outdoor cows, and it reduced the number of flies that were around the cows by over 75%, okay? Flies and other fly insects do not like balsam fir. Okay, it would just it would just make sense if people made sprays out of this stuff to protect yourself from viruses like staphylococcus bacteria, like staph staph infection, and different types of insects and bugs that might be carrying stuff. So that so for some reason um, these doctors were like, "Yo, we taking balsam fir, making it oil. We making sprays. We doing everything with balsam fir oil because it's very very versatile." Now, here is something very interesting from the Journal of Phytochemistry from September 2015. And this is balsam fir. This oil is at one price right now. But if you have it as the oil of the month on auto ship, hear me out. Yep, Tommy, it is. And I was reading it and I was like, yo, this is something we need. <laughs> Especially if we moving through the woods, making the magic happen. We need it. OK. And so, uh. When I'm looking at this journal from, from uh, September 2015 from the Journal of Phytochemistry, okay, the compounds in balsam fir, all right, the actual oil of balsam fir has proven effective. Here, this is wild, but the doctor said this, not me. It said the compounds in balsam fir have proven effective for the treatment of type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. Now, think about that. Now, remember I'm saying that. Because I'm going to come back at the end with a full statement. With, with a full, I'm going to bring it full circle. So I want you to remember that statement and write it down. Phytochemistry. That's a medical journal. Okay. September 2015. This is all you need to remember. The compounds in balsam for essential oil are proven effective for the treatment of type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. I'm going to come back at the end and remember that statement. Okay. So balsam fur is really amazing. Also from the Journal of Ethnopharmacology. Yeah, now here's the thing. Now, now watch, Elizabeth brought up a great point. Balsam fur is $21 right now, okay? Listen, I know if Paula, Kat, if anybody's watching this, do not get it right now. I know, I know, I'm, listen, a lot of network marketing people, a lot of these coaches will tell you, go buy the product right now, go buy the product, 21, we want BV, buy a product. No, listen, that product price is gonna drop down to $12.95. You'll save almost $10 on that, okay, on November the 1st. All you got to do is put in your auto ship on the first of the month for the uh, all of the month club of Seasons of Success. You're going to get it on the first of the month and save 10 bucks. I don't know about y'all, no matter how rich any of us are, I'm not throwing $10 down the drain. Well, Will, it's not a big deal. It's just 10 bucks. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. $10 is not $10. Put a star by this. Yeah, Isaac, we got the most amazing products in the industry with the most amazing prices. Okay, $12.95 with 10 BV for oil that does all of this is bananas. It's bananas. I know Paula not here for the money because she's charging way less than she should be. Okay, now here's what I'm telling y'all. Okay, hear me out. This particular oil, when it goes on sale, $12.95, 10 BV, it's going to be at that price for the whole month. Then it goes back up in December. So it would be in everybody's best interest to stock up on this. Now, here's one thing I'll tell you. Here's another thing I'll mention. Jessica made a great point, just like Elizabeth just did. Let me make a, another great point. $10 is not just $10. Jessica says right here, and this is why it's so important to get your teams on this live and these lives we do every single Tuesday, because if they, get, if they miss this information, they might not ever get it. And, and $10 is not just $10. You save 10 bucks. Jessica said that's $10 that can be used toward marketing materials. So let's say you take that 10 bucks, you invest it in a button, a couple of postcards, maybe some ads, whatever it is. Maybe you take that $10 and you send your best friend a text message and say, hey, meet me for coffee tomorrow at Starbucks. Okay. You meet them for coffee. 
You pay for their coffee with the other $5. You get your coffee for $5, okay? And then you go ahead and, and, and pitch them on the business. And if they join, you make way more than $10, okay? All right? Elizabeth says right here, you can get them at $12.95 and resell the extras in December. Yeah, Tommy, the $10 will turn into 100 bucks. okay? Elizabeth says right here, you can literally buy them in November and then you can promote them during the winter months of December, January, and February at the retail price. It, pff, you can make a lot of money with this stuff, all right? Just, just hear me out. Last thing I'll tell you, put a star by this. For my lazy people, my lazy, lazy people who don't want to recruit, I get it. Buy it anyway. Save the 10 bucks. Take the 10 bucks and invest it. Now, if you invest in mutual funds, we'll be talking about this in January, but if you invest in mutual funds, it may take you a minimum amount of money to get into a fund. But once you're in the mutual fund, like I am, a lot of people are hopefully doing investments. Once you get out of debt, your number one thing needs to be investments. Pay off your house, pay off your car, investments. Because $10 in a mutual fund, and pretty much any of them, S&P, Vanguard, that $10 is going to get you a 10, 11, 12, 13% return on investment. So in a couple of years, that $10 is not $10. That $10 is $100. You understand? And you didn't have to go recruit nobody. You didn't have to sell nobody. You didn't have to sell no product. You didn't have to recruit nobody. When you invest money and you understand that the money's going to create little money babies and the babies are going to grow up into big money, you put $10 into the right investment. That $10 is going to turn into $100. That $100 is going to turn into $1,000. It's just about time and the market, and it's what it is. That's how people stay wealthy. That's not how you get rich. You get rich by working your business. You stay rich by investing properly. We'll be talking about that at the next boot camp in January. All right, let's get back to it. Journal of Ethnopharmacology, December 2016 article, not only talked about, it, it, it referenced kind of how balsam fir was effective against staph, but balsam fir also super effective against MRSA. How many people ever heard of MRSA? It's another one of those real, real wild conditions, the disease, bacteria, viral type joints that people was getting in the hospitals like a couple years ago and everybody was scared of MRSA. People was getting knocked out the box because of MRSA, M-R-S-A, okay? Journal of Ethnopharmacology was like, yo, balsam fur, balsam fur, off rip, you need it. You need balsam fur. That is what the doctors say. I didn't say that. The Journal of Ethnopharmacology Peer-reviewed medical research said that. Nothing to do with Goja Sign and nothing to do with me. They just educating us at the number one research platform in the world, PubMed.gov, created by the National Institute of Health. All right. Now, from a historical standpoint, Native Americans in particular, Native Americans have always used balsam fir very safely. Not a lot of side effects or anything I could find, but it promoted health. Balsam fir promoted well-being. Uh, balsam fir promoted the ability to meditate and focus your mind. Okay, I'm going to start using balsam fir before my prayer time. I was like, man, it did all that. They said balsam fir increased spirituality. And I'm like, man, this is really deep stuff. And also it facilitated deeper breathing. And why wouldn't it? You know, why, if it's a forest oil, why wouldn't it facilitate deeper breathing? It makes so much sense, okay? And remember the responsible safety precautions. The last things I'll say about balsam fir is this. Uh, if you really want a cool blend, I was researching different blends and things, you know, I'm big on essential oils. Um, balsam fir blends very well with the carrier oil, okay, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, but some type of carrier oil and balsam fir uh, blends very well with frankincense, okay? Or if you're not a big fan of frankincense, which you should be, balsam fir also blends very well with myrrh, okay? And all, uh, balsam fir also blends very well with sandalwood. Okay, so any of those three, balsam fir blends very well with those. And shout out to Linda out of New York. Leaderboard, Linda, welcome. Linda's in the building. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the last fun fact that I'll give you about balsam fir is going to be balsam fir trees grow up to 25 feet around. So these are massive trees, okay? They grow up to 90 feet tall, up to 90 feet tall, and they live up to 100 years old. So balsam fir trees are basically the Shaquille O'Neal of the tree world. They are literally 90 feet tall, 25 feet around, and 100 years old. Tommy, listen, it definitely needs to be in a beard blend of some type. And Akua 
at the training, Miss Offset Brooks, she told Mrs. Offset Brooks showed us how to make different type of body oils and stuff with the oil. So, uh, yeah, we got a lot of great stuff coming down the pipe with this. You can literally take these products and create new innovative products like we just learned about at boot camp with the sprays and the oils and the bath salts and everything. OK, now now we're going to move on on the second half of the training call and we're going to be talking about compassion now. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm I'm not a sassy dude. That's like a thing now. I didn't know this until yesterday. They were telling me that, Will, there, there, there's a thing called sassy men. And that's like a thing. All right. And I, I'm not knocking any 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 guy who wants to define themselves as sassy. That's cool, bro. If that's what you want to do. Um, that ain't me. I'm a, I'm a guy's guy. I, I like to hunt, fish, shoot, eat meat, beef jerky. And I love my family, love my country. And I like guns. I'm not a very sassy individual in any capacity. I got sassed with my mama one time and she popped me in the mouth and my mama has very heavy hands and she didn't even bother taking off her wedding ring. She snapped me in the mouth. First time I felt blood like, oh man, that's terrible. This woman loved me, but she ain't gonna let me be sassy at all. Bow, backhand. So I learned very early, I ain't really expressive like that, but I'm okay with that. I'm I'm okay with that, FYI. I'm okay with that, all right? <laughs> so, so, but compassion, I was kind of hesitant at first. I was like, yo, that sound real real gentle. You know, that sound real sweet. And I was like, you know what? Let me do my research. Let me not judge an oil bias cover. And let me, let me, let me see what's popping with compassion. Um, cause, cause quite honestly, I probably do need to be more compassionate in how I deal with a lot of people, especially people in network marketing who aren't with our teams. I'd be cold blooded with these jokers because I really don't like when people in network marketing promoting garbage products. I hate that so much because people get hurt with bad products. Okay. So here's the thing about compa comp compassion, and I'm gonna tell Joe. You can laugh. I laugh at it now. I took my mom to dinner like two weeks ago, and yeah, we 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 got a good laugh out of all the good stories. I love seeing my parents. As long as much time as God let me spend with them, I want to see them. So that's that. Now compassion has several oils in it. Okay, several oils. So we're gonna take these oils in order in the listing of how much is in each one, like in a product information page. So uh, patchouli is in compassion. Now, patchouli is an incredible oil. Y'all have all heard about this, but let me tell you right now about an article from February 2022. Uh, Kenya, I know it wasn't happening in your house. I already know what wasn't happening in your crib. Yeah, you're right too. Okay, so patchouli in February 22nd. And Vicky, yeah, Vicky got to make the bath sauce and got to take them home. From the event, people was getting mad value at the event. We're going to see y'all again in January, though. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell it. Okay, in January. All right. Um, I don't know what that what that question means, Tommy. Oh, patchouli. Okay, bet. Patchouli is P-A-T-C-H-O-U-L-I. Patchouli. And patchouli was really hot in the streets back in like the hippie days and everything because it smelled cool, I guess. But let me tell you um, about it scientifically. Because you can just go to Google and put in what's the benefits of patchouli. That'll tell you everything you need to know. Let me give you some deeper level stuff. A medical uh, article, a peer-reviewed medical research article from February of 2022, okay, said that patchouli essential oil and its derivatives exert potent anti-cancer effects. Now, this is not a medical claim. This is not something Will Zanders invented. This is not something Go Designer told me to say or that's on our products or nothing. We can't say nothing like that legally. It's a disclaimer. We cannot claim that our products treat or cure, cure, prevent any disease. A medical journal featured in PubMed.gov, obviously, from February 2022 said, and I quote, okay, I quote, patchouli essential oil. And its derivatives, like stuff you can make from patchouli, patchouli spray, patchouli salt, patchouli soap, just whatever you're getting out of patchouli right now, apparently. The different chemical constituents, patchouli alcohol is a thing now, okay? Its derivatives exert potent anti-cancer effects. All right? Not my words. Talk to the doctors. Another article, okay, from 2022, I mean, from, from 2020 in March, another article in 2020 in March, says that patchouli possesses health benefits. This is fun. This is a fun one. Through inhibiting adipogenesis. And what is adipogenesis? I had to look it up. What is adipogenesis? It's the process by which fat cells develop and accumulate. Okay. 
So patchouli, just smelling this stuff, just rubbing it on, compassion will quite literally prevent fat cells from developing and accumulating, okay? And it also inhibits fat that's under the skin, subcutaneous fat tissue, as well as adipose fat tissue and fat tissue development, like, like that stubborn belly fat you can't get rid of, like the, 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 the cottage cheese type joints. Ladies and gentlemen, compassion. I submit to you, compassion has anti-cancer effects and will quite literally turn your body into a fat burning machine. So that was phenomenal for me, okay? Another article, and this is from the article of neuroinflammation. Neuroinflammation and, and inflammation of the brain is such a wild condition. It's so crazy for people, okay, that there's an entire medical journal dedicated to it, all right? The Journal of Neuroinflammation from January 2023 said that patchouli essential oil treatment significantly improved the activities of people living with Alzheimer's disease and ameliorated the anxiety-related behavioral deficits and cognitive impairments. Now, I'm going to say that again because I really need people to understand where the money comes from and why in network marketing in this industry because we have products that people can't get. And when you're looking at the patchouli that's formulated perfectly in Compassion Essential Oil, and if you on auto ship for Seasons of Success, you get this next month automatically, okay? It's not going to sell out. If you on auto ship, they got yours ready. Now, if you try to get it later in the month and it's sold out, that's on you because the first of the month, we see a lot of product go out, all right? And we don't want you to miss this. If you understand the way the money works and you understand that baby boomers dictate what people spend money on, baby boomers, okay? And you understand that baby boomers are the people at risk. Our parents and their parents, uh, you know, obviously my parents are baby boomers. They are literally at the age where they would be susceptible to this. Now they use our essential oils, so they're good. Okay, they're good. Yep. But it's the point that results from the Journal of Neural Inflammation showed that using patchouli oil, inhaling it and consuming it. So I'm not telling you go drink compassion and drink patchouli. You got to really look at the, uh, you got to look at the safety precautions for that and try to make some patchouli tea or something, but check the safety precautions because compassion is so potent. I don't know if you can even do that, but I'm just telling you what patchouli does. Okay. It significantly improve the activities of daily living. Do you know that's the hardest thing about people with Alzheimer's is that they have trouble doing regular stuff because they can't remember stuff? But patchouli help with that. Compassion will literally save lives out here. Hear me out. It ameliorated, like got rid of, the anxiety-related behavioral deficits and cognitive impairments. Okay? Cognitive impairments. Now, a quick testimonial talking about not, not, switch, not switching from compassion too much, but talking about prosperity oil because patchouli is in prosperity oil too. Jessica said she used prosperity oil and she won a gift card, signed up two new team members and won this week's football pool since using prosperity. So that's amazing. Okay, so we're seeing all of the different things about patchouli. Let me give you one more article about patchouli that was really cool from April 2022. Um, and we found the doctors, this is the doctor's words, they said we is, and the doctors found that patchouli inhibits the growth, migration, and invasion of certain cancer cells, and they were referring to prostate cancer, okay? And they also said that not only does it help treat and prevent the growth, migration, and invasion of prostate cancer cells, it said that uh, it also assisted with eliminating the cells or the type of medical conditions um, of other types of cancer, arthritis, which is inflammation condition, and asthma. So patchouli is the bomb. Moving on to another uh, oil that's also in compassion is going to be sweet marjoram. Now, right now, because of time, I'm just going to go through one or two facts and try to get done at the top of the hour because I have another live to go do. But yeah, the hit Linda, the hippies knew what was up with patchouli. People knew what was up with patchouli in the 60s. Yes, 100%. And look, ain't nothing changed but the weather. All right? But you, look, Hey, it's in there. You can smell it in there. Now, the next art, the next oil that's in compassion is sweet marjoram. And this one, I wasn't really hype about it until I learned about it. Here's just one article that I found. I can tell you the rest later. Here's just one article I found on sweet marjoram. And that is from 
uh, January 2017, and it's from the Journal of Evidence-Based Complementary Alternative Medicine, uh, featured in PubMed.gov, okay? And it says that sweet marjoram is used as an antioxidant, a hepatoprotective, like a blood protective, cardioprotective, so a heart protective, anti-blood clot. It prevents your blood from clotting, which is a good thing. You don't want blood clots. That'll kill you. That'll give you a stroke, okay? It says that sweet marjoram is a gastroprotective, protects your stomach lining, your intestinal tract. Sweet marjoram is also antibacterial, antifungal, antiprotozoal. So it's killing those little microscopic microbes and bacterial organisms as well. It helps with arteriosclerosis. It's an anti-inflammatory, anti-metastatic, which is talking about it doesn't let cancer cells latch on to other stuff, anti-tumor, anti-ulcer, and sweet marjoram also has positive medical effects on heart health and blood pressure. It also assists with cancer, diabetes, and autoimmune disorders. That's just from one article. That is just from one peer-reviewed medical research article on uh, sweet marjoram. So that's crazy to me. But next up, next up, in the, in the lineup for compassion ingredients is pink grapefruit. Now, again, I know pink grapefruit is good for weight loss, so we're not going to talk about that right now. Patchouli is also good for weight loss, uh, stuff like that. But we just want to talk about this one article from 2020. Okay, yeah, basically anti-evil. Tommy, you're right. You're right, okay? Um, wow, yep, yep. Jessica, we definitely want to get that. And shout out to my brother, uh, Ivan. Ivan just hopped on too. My brother from another mother. Good to see you, sir. All right. Pink grapefruit. Okay. November 2020 article. This is what they said about pink grapefruit. And it's in addition to what we all know about pink grapefruit, which is weight loss properties. Didn't need to cover those. Y'all know that already. I hope. Okay. November 2020 article on pink grapefruit says it has high antioxidant activity. That's number one. Whenever you hear high antioxidant, I want you to think high anti-aging, okay? Anti-aging and antioxidant are almost simultaneous. So just understand it has high anti-aging activity. Pink grapefruit also has high microbial activity against microbes and bacterial. And they tested it out and it, it, it was killing it, okay? Against E. coli, all right? Salmonella, staph, aspergillus and candida. So all of these types of issues that people have on the, on the kind of bacterial side, uh, pink grapefruit is where it's at. I don't like the taste of pink grapefruit, but I'll put in some water with a little bit of lemon oil. I'll make it work because it's good. Okay. Now, next up, this was very fascinating and this was jojoba. Now it's spelled jojoba. So when I first got involved in essential oils, I was running around saying jojoba oil sounding like an absolute moron. I didn't know it is jojoba. I did not know that. I know that now. Now, uh, jojoba is in uh, compassion oil. Now, I didn't think that it was a big deal that that uh, jojoba oil was in there. I mistakenly thought that jojoba oil was a carrier oil. Okay. And Pamela said she loves pink grapefruit. She lost four pounds since using it, since using the pink grapefruit oil. Fantastic. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Okay. So jojoba oil, I thought it was a carrier. So I almost didn't include it in the research. I would have messed up. It's important. Okay. There's a medical, peer-reviewed medical research article from May 2021. This one is in PubMed.gov. And this is just some of the stuff that they said about jojoba. And I'm going to quote this. Jojoba is really one of the unsung heroes in compassion. Let me tell you what I found. It is effective against skin and scalp disorders, superficial wounds. So if you get like a cut that's not too deep, jojoba, which is in compassion, sore throat, okay, effective against sore throat, obesity. You got a, a ton of fat burning oils in compassion. It would make sense to put compassion in that grapeseed oil that we have. And just rub it on your stomach before you go to bed. This is an amazing fat burning oil. Okay. It's good. Jojoba is good for obesity and cancer. Shocking. Jojoba is also good for the improvement of liver function. The enhancement of immunity makes you get sick less. The promotion of hair growth. I had no idea. Y'all know I'm about to get the jojoba popping with the compassion because I'm all about hair. I'm all about it. Okay. And that's exactly another reason why they have it in there 
Uh, Ronnie Veronica Easterling Thomas just made an incredible point on right there. She said a hope is a carrier oil that has therapeutic properties, 100%, okay? It's not used as this, as a carrier oil. We have coconut for that. It's used for the therapeutic side, which is really just amazing to me. And it has an indefinite shelf life, so the blend won't turn rancid. Thank you, Randy, for that. That's incredible. That's incredible, okay? The studies actually also show that extensive studies on jojoba showed a wide range of pharmacological applications. Now, what does that tell you? It tells you that medical companies and big pharma is going to start using this all natural stuff to make prescription drugs. If you didn't know, this is what big pharma companies do. They take something natural that works like compassion or jojoba. They're going to take it and add. It works fine by itself. It's natural. They're going to add some synthetic chemicals to it and then they can patent it and sell it. Okay. That's just how it works. Will the stuff that is sell, the stuff that they sell, they can sell it for a whole bunch of money, keep people ignorant about what products like ours do by preventing us based on lobbyists and legalese, preventing us by telling people, hey, you don't need a prescription drug. You can use jojoba. We got it in compassion. You can actually make a bunch of money promoting it to your friends instead of letting big pharma make all the money. We can't even say that. Legally, we can't even say that, okay, without giving disclaimers. So it's letting you know in these articles that this is what doctors are doing with the research. It's going to big pharma. They're going to take jojoba. They're going to take pink grapefruit. They're going to turn it, make it synthetic, put some synthetic stuff in it, then give it to people, set up for too much money. And the synthetic stuff, that's where side effect come from. Synthetic stuff, that's where side effect come from. There's no regular side effects on the human side. It's natural stuff. This stuff been out before humans even was on earth, okay? So it also says that jojoba oil is antioxidant. Remember that? Anti-aging, anti-acne, anti-psoriasis. So if you got bad skin, psoriasis or acne in your kids, you don't need to take that retinol or that stuff to be burning holes in their skin. You better get some of this compassion, get some of this jojoba and figure it out, okay? It said that jojoba is an anti-inflammatory, antifungal, antipyretic, analgesic, okay? Analgesic, which is going to be pain relief, antimicrobial, and antihyperglycemic. So it helps with your, your uh, blood sugars and things like that. In addition, this don't listen, I just told y'all this. In addition, jojoba oil is widely used in the pharmaceutical industry, okay? Strange. All right. Moving on in the Journal of Resident uh, Pharma Pharmaceutical Science from 2021 article, it said that jojoba is really, really good for transdermal delivery. So if you got some oils, yeah, exactly. Tommy, there's more. So if you got oils like pink grapefruit and you got oils like um, patchouli, if you got oils like sweet marjoram and things like that, and you want to get them into the bloodstream, you can put jojoba in there because jojoba, according to the medical science, this ain't me, medical science, it's really good for getting things through the skin, transdermal into the bloodstream. So jojoba is an incredible, and jojoba is really good for bioenergy as well. So it is what it is, right? Yeah. Tammy Lynn is dropping some bombs in the comments. Facts. It's true. That's what they do. That's what they do. They, they try to get us play. They try to play us, right? Now, another oil that's really cool that y'all probably familiar with in Compassion is Lang Lang Oil. Not Ylang Ylang, it's Lang Lang. The Y is silent. And um, a, a Medical Journal article from 2022 talked about how Lang Lang Oil is really good for pain relief and anti-anxiety. I could go on, but we don't have a lot of time left, so let me just keep it moving. Another article from the International Journal of Neuroscience. Now, check this out, because... We have Lang Lang Oil in Compassion. We also have Peppermint Oil as a standalone with Godesana. This article is really interesting. Hear me out. This was an International Journal of Neuroscience article from 2008. And it said that Lang Lang Oil slowed down processing speeds. Okay? Basically, it's going to de-stress you by slowing your brain down. And it increased calmness. Okay? In the next group of people, they use Peppermint Oil and peppermint oil sped up processing speeds of the brain and did not increase stress, but rather increased alertness, okay? So the same way peppermint will speed you up, make your brain get you on high alert, ready to perform and do physical activities like we talked about, 
Langley oil is going to slow you down, increase calmness, and probably get you ready for bed. So that's what it does. Now, next up, another article, another oil that is in Compassion. Compassion got a bunch of oils in there. Okay. Uh, another article, uh, oil that's in there is called Clary Sage. Clary Sage is not the same as regular sage. We have both at Godesana as standalone oils. But let me tell you two things very quickly I learned about Clary Sage when I was doing research earlier today for y'all. A 2019 uh, PubMed.gov article from March showed that Clary Sage decreased stress specifically of women in labor. So the doctors were trying to find women under the highest stress conditions they could find. The highest stress conditions they could find and labor was, of course, the number one stressful occurrence. They literally tested Clary Sage on a group of women who were in labor. Some got Clary Sage, the aroma of it, the real Clary Sage, no synthetic stuff, the real essential oil Clary Sage, and other women didn't. They got placebo. The women who received Clary Sage had far decreased stress markers and had smoother, easier pregnancies here and stress-wise because of the essential oil. So even if you're not literally, literally in labor, ladies, and you're just having a stressful day, uh, Clary Sage, Clary Sage, it works, okay? And so then I was looking for stuff under men because I'm like, all right, well, the ladies are really rocking with Clary Sage. Is there anything it does for men? Yes, it will do the same thing for men as dictated in an October 2020 medical article that came out after the one on women in labor but it, the article did find that Clary Sage is far more effective on women when you put it on the skin. The same way you would apply it with compassion, you maybe use it right on your skin or use a carrier oil, but using Clary Sage or compassion on the skin for stress relief is going to be more effective than inhaling it. Inhaling it works too, but transdermal application is going to work more for the Clary Sage component. And fellas, they didn't leave y'all out. Clary Sage does also decrease stress in men, but it works on men much, much slower, but they haven't figured out why yet, okay? So Clary Sage still works on men, but it works on women real fast. It takes longer to work on men, so it lasts longer working on men. So that's just the differences with men and women. We are not the same, just different creatures, okay? Now, Next up, uh, last thing I'll tell you about Clary Sage, February 2017 article, Clary Sage killed Candida. Okay, how many people uh, have ever heard of Candida? That fungus in people's bodies, they've been messing people up, that yeast type fungus, be messing people up. Uh, Clary Sage is really good for that. So compassion can help you during these winter months with all kind of different things going on. Now, uh, now this, this is something that is really, really important and it leads us to the last two oils that we'll be talking about uh, in this, okay, as we wrap it up, we're running a little bit long, but we're going to wrap this up, okay? And it says right here, it's a June 2015 article, and this is fascinating. It's fascinating, all right? Yeah, probably so, Jessica, probably so. And this is a June 2015 article, and this is what it says, of, and I'll translate it in a second. Effective management of tumorigenesis requires development of better anti-cancer agents with greater efficacy and fewer side effects. So the first part of the article is talking about how to really, you know, fight cancer and the cancerous masses and those cancerous tumors. It's telling doctors we got to do better. It's telling doctors we need better anti-cancer agents with greater efficacy that work. We need cancer stuff that works, number one. And then number two, it says with fewer side effects because traditional cancer treatments are killing people. Chemo and all that other type of stuff is hurting people. So doctors are even banding together uh, as early as 2015 and say, hey, we gotta do better. That's what the first thing said. The second part of the article from June 2015, PubMed.gov, National Institute of Health says, natural products, ding, 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 ding. Natural products are important sources for the development of chemotherapeutic agents so what's the next part of the article just say? Natural products, the patchoulis, the, the jojobas, the sweet grapefruits, the lavenders, the this, that, and the third. Natural products are important. This is not us network marketers saying this. This is not the hippie community in the 60s and 70s saying this. 
This is medical doctors that are tired of seeing their people die and get hurt. Medical doctors with MDs is finally coming around and going, you know what? Maybe there's a better way. Maybe, maybe there might be a better way. That's what the article say. Don't get mad at me. I'm saying what the article say, okay? And it says right here, this is wild. It said natural products are important sources for the development of chemotherapeutic agents and, and almost 60% of anti-cancer drugs are of natural origin. Now think about that. Almost 60% of anti-cancer drugs are of natural origin. Okay. Now remember how we were talking about the different types of uh, cancers and stuff and how those articles at the beginning were telling us about patchouli and all these other different medical things, all these other essential oils. And we were just talking about how we're going to bring it full circle. You're going to literally see that things naturally that have been here for over half a million years on earth, quite 60% of anti-cancer drugs are of natural origin. I can't even imagine what the percentage of the other stuff is natural, like aspirin. All of that is natural. Now watch this. They literally take natural things, some of which are like the oils that we talked about tonight. They're going to add chemicals, which are not natural, synthetic stuff to the oil to create something different. That different thing they create, they can patent it and they can sell it for a lot of money. It'll work sometimes, but look what they say. The doctor's own words. We got to do better. Better anti-cancer agents with greater efficacy, which means it's not working like it's supposed to. And fewer side effects, which means it's doing some things it ain't supposed to do. That's what happened when Miriam said it. When you adulterate, when you adulterate natural products formulated properly, this is just what it is. Okay. So we got some stuff here that's really incredible. And the last articles and oils we'll talk about tonight as you wrap up is going to be sandalwood. Everybody knows about sandalwood. I think I got some sandalwood right here. Listen, sandalwood is one of the most expensive oils we have at Go Designer. It's like $60. How do I know? Because I bought some more yesterday. Because sandalwood stays on deck for me from a lifestyle standpoint. The fact that sandalwood costs $60 for this little five milliliter bottle, but you can get Compassion, the big bottle that already has sandalwood in it. Hint, hint. I'm, look, Paula might be mad at me. We don't tell people don't get sandalwood. I didn't say that. I simply said you can spend $60 on a little bottle of real sandalwood, which I love. It's incredible. I'm going to tell you why I love it so much in a second. Or if you are a member of the Seasons of Success Oils, Compassion is a 15 milliliter bottle. It has a sandalwood base. 15 to 30 percent of this bottle is sandalwood. Let me just give you FYI. That's about what the formula would require based on my research. OK, so compassion. Now, here's what Medical Journal Review article said about sandalwood. I'm going to just give you two articles. Article number one. This was also from June 2015. This is sandalwood. Anti-aging, antiviral, antibacterial anti-inflammatory, anti-skin cancer, anti-breast cancer, anti-prostate cancer with little to no side effects. Do I need to read that again for anybody? No? Yeah? <laughs> Why not? Sandalwood, Medical Journal 2015, June. Anti-aging, anti-cancer, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, anti-skin cancer, anti-breast cancer, anti-prostate cancer with little to no side effects. Just a FYI, okay? Now here's the most fascinating article I've ever seen. I've never seen this before in history. And it's talking about sandalwood. And this is an article from biologists in London in 2000 February. Just hear me out, this is a weird article. But it made a lot of sense for me because I'm really I'm really high on hyping up compassion right now, as well as sandalwood. Now, this article is a medical journal article and it is peer reviewed, which means other doctors reviewed the article and said, yep, we agree. 
Okay, and nobody was paid to write this, but this is a very strange article. I'm going to read it to you word for word. It's called Sandalwood, the Royal Tree, and it's from 2000 in February from a biologist in London. Medical doctor, hear me out. Sandalwood is the most valuable tree in the world. Start, that started off. Sandalwood is the most valuable tree in the world. So we don't know how long or how much sandalwood is going to be out there in the world. But I'm buying it because I'm like, yo, I need that just to have it. And we need it just to have it. So I expect very soon that compassion will sell out. I really, really believe that sandalwood at some point will sell out. I believe that. But compassion for sure. Uh, we, we're going to have to get more. I just, I just, I see it coming because all the medical research is saying patchouli, sandalwood, sandalwood, patchouli, sandalwood, sandalwood, anti-cancer drugs, sandalwood, anti this, anti that, anti this, anti that. The doctors are going to buy up all the sandalwood in the world and start making prescription drugs. But if you happen to have a stockpile, I know it's pricey. But you might want to, you might want to have it on that seasons of success. And it lasts a long time. And this one actually has jojoba in there. And jojoba, uh, I think like uh, Randa might have mentioned earlier, uh, prevents the degradation of shelf life. So it'll last a very, very long time, all right? Sandalwood is the most valuable tree in the world. As with gold, platinum, and diamonds, it owes its value based on, it owes its value to demand based on ritual, Fashion and scarcity. Scarcity. Sandalwood is the stuff of mystery and intrigue. And it's my favorite part of the whole article. And fortunes can still be made from it. Now, I don't know why doctors and me literal medical doctors and biologists are writing articles about sandalwood and how fortunes can be made of it. Okay, fortunes. I, I'm going to take it for what it's worth. <laughs> and I personally plan on making a fortune with sandalwood. It is what it is. Even if you got to get a bottle and then you got to get little sample bottles to put, you go, y'all going to figure it out. Even if you got to get compassion and put compassion in some different sample bottles and get it into the marketplace, you'll, you'll figure it out. Fortunes can still be made. It says precious. The doctors are literally comparing sandalwood to the most valuable tree in the world to gold, platinum, and diamonds. That's amazing to me. It's fascinating, okay? But, the, you know, your broke uncle says network marketing is a scam, don't he? Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? All right. The last all we're going to talk about tonight is going to be lavender, all right? Now, we all know about lavender. I'm not going to talk a lot about lavender. I'm just going to give you the quickest thing we can do with lavender because it's so popular. You can do a three-hour training on just lavender and still not be even close to being done. So here's what I got for you on lavender. And this is from the Journal of General Hospital uh, Psychiatry. And they have articles based on two months. So it's the May-June article from 2020. And it said that aromatherapy use of real lavender is best for short-term issues. But for long-term issues, oral uh, lavender oil, like in a tea or a water salt, something like that, is going to be better for long-term things like that of, of uh, different issues that lavender deals with. Um, and now there was another article done on lavender, and I'm going to just give it, it's from 2022. It's a combination of two articles. Both are from 2022. Okay. 11 doctors participated in these articles, and this is what it said. Lavender is antibacterial, like proven to be. Because the article literally set out, and if you read the beginning of the medical article, the doctors are talking about all this stuff lavender is supposed to do, right? And the article set out to disprove it. it. The article was doctors setting out to prove that real lavender, lavender vera ain't all that. It's really, look, it's in compassion. Doctors were setting out to prove that lavender is not all that, that the stuff you've been hearing about is from myths and stories and legends and Native Americans and Africans and ancient Europeans and Greeks. And all since the beginning of time, all of these magical things that lavender does, they said, nah, we don't believe it and we're going to prove it. Here's what they ended up proving in the article, June 2002. They proved that 
Lavender was antibacterial. They proved that it was antifungal. They proved that it was relaxing. They proved that it was a sedative and an antidepressive. And they proved on accident that it's effective for burns, insect bites, and it's an antimicrobial helping to prevent infection. Lavender is all that plus a bunch more. In a 2022 article, there were 13 studies included in this review, and they literally did uh, trials on 838 people, 838 human beings, okay? Lavender was effective in the reduction of anxiety, pain, sleep quality, vital signs, vital signs. Like we got to check his vitals, make sure he's still alive, vital signs, and so much more. Lavender also has scientific evidence now. This is all in 2022. This, all this stuff, we been knew it in the essential oil communities, but science and research has finally agreed. Oh, not lavender from Walmart, not Amazon lavender, not lavender from Whole Foods, not the lavender that your massage therapy got. We mean real lavender from the real source, all right? The kind that we got, just, just know that. The, uh, those reviews and articles provided scientific evidence regarding the effectiveness of lavender and everything I just mentioned, but also mitigating cancer complications, okay? And it says right here, this is the doctor's recommendation. This is the left, no, this is uh, 13 different studies, more than 11 doctors at this point. This is the doctor's recommendation. This is the doctor's recommendation, the panel of doctors from August of 2022. Healthcare providers are suggested to use lavender in patient care along with other healthcare interventions to relieve cancer complications. So for anybody who has cancer, the latest medical research in the world as recently as last year, okay? And there may be more. I only had like three or four hours to research for y'all today. Healthcare provider, that's a quote. I'm not making this up. This is what the article says. Healthcare Providers are suggested to use lavender in patient care along with other healthcare interventions to relieve cancer complications. Now, here's my thing. I don't ever want to get cancer. I pray I never get it. I use lavender ice every day. If I don't have that, I'm going to use compassion, which got lavender in it. Lavender is going to be on my person, either topically or aromatically, every day for the rest of my life. Period, point blank, end of story, okay? Y'all got a real, cancer is a real thing and all of the re freestyle, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's not, now look, notice the article is not saying don't do what the doctor tell you. It's telling you to do that, but to add lavender 100%, that is what the, the healthcare, that's what doctors are telling the healthcare providers, right? And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we got coconut oil, it's an amazing carrier in Compassion. Compassion is amazing. Um, and it talks about that coke, and I'm, I'm closing up with this. Uh, coconut oil, once it's either topically applied or ingested, okay, it's going to get broken down into lauric acid and monolaurin, and those are two antimicrobial agents. They're very good. The studies reported July 2020 is that coconut oil is antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, okay. And also, it does not cause resistance organisms to appear. Now, why is that important? Because a lot of times the stuff that doctors tell us use, especially things like that, once it tries to kill a bacteria or a virus or, so, or fungus, the fungus will mutate and change into a new version, that a new strain of bacteria that doesn't respond to the previous treatment. Coconut oil does not allow anything to mutate. I thought coconut oil was just like chilling. I thought it was just like, you know, in Hawaii chilling while lavender and, and patchouli and sandalwood are in the lab doing all the work killing cancer. I thought coconut oil was on the beach just chilling. Like that's what I think of coconut oil, right? No, coconut oil putting in mad work. Have coconut oil putting in crazy work on, 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 uh, on bacteria, viruses, and antifungals. They do not get a chance to mutate because coconut oil taking them out the box off top, just knocking them smooth out the box. It says that the antimicrobial mechanistic, mechanistic action of coconut oil helps activate the anti-inflammatory nature of the human body. 
it's literally turning on our healthy immune response, which is amazing. And it says in vitro studies, animal studies, and human studies all show this. And this is what it said. Coconut oil is effective. It is uh, safe. Okay. It is a new and exciting uh, industrial uses of coconut oil and its derivatives are now possible. And it says never before, like in recent times, has the recognition of the positive health effects of coconut oil been stronger and never before in human history is it so important to emphasize the need and the efficiency of natural products known for their safety proposition. I'm going to say that one more time. I'm going to say that one more time. Okay, and this is from doctors. This is a medical peer-reviewed journal article from 2020 in PubMed.gov, July. This is what they said. Never before in the history of humankind ever has it been so important to emphasize both the need, you need this natural stuff, the need and the efficiency of natural products known for their safety proposition. It's telling you that natural products like the ones included in, included in Compassion that we just went through for you, okay? It's telling you that those type of natural products, specifically the ones that we have available for you, Seasons of the Success, Essential Oils, 29 bucks, you get two oils for that, okay? Are needed, they're safe, and they're effective. They just work. All right. We don't even know how all they work. Doctors are still figuring it out. All right. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's our product training for tonight. I know we ran about 15 minutes long. I'm really sorry about that. But hopefully you see the value of balsam for essential oil. Tag your teams in this one. Watch the replay. Hopefully you see the value of compassion, essential oil blend, both of which are going to be dropping next month as our seasons of success. If you're on auto ship on the first of the month for 20 BV seasons of success or 50 BV, you're going to get both of those and some other stuff. And uh, the, 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 the research and the, the, the peer reviewed medical research is always my favorite. But I don't want to just give you information. I want to empower you to do your own research, to, uh, you know, make a bunch of money. We go to sign up so you can retire from your job, make a ton of money. And then you can start doing research on your own because you'll have so much free time. Right. So that's what I want for everybody. I want everybody to have that freedom. But the freedom does take discipline. It will take work. Um, it will take commitment. That's the number one word in network marketing is commitment. The number two word in network marketing is attitude. And the third most important word in network marketing is action. And never forget that. When you work the system, the system will work and the system will work for you. Okay, so I love y'all. Y'all have a good night. God bless. And our next boot camp is going to be on Jan in January. I'm not going to make any posts about it. I don't want anybody to feel like they have to go or have to participate or have to come to the location. If you want information about our next go to sign the essential oil boot camp in January, message me on Facebook and I'll get you some details. OK, I love you all so much. God bless you all. Stu, my big brother, Stu Large, Tommy, Ruth, Freestyle and everybody else. Richard Fritzler, uh, Sydney, everybody there. I love you all so much. It was great seeing you all Atlanta. Can't wait to see you all at the next one in January. Y'all have a good night and we will see you all on the next one. We got a really great a series of trainings this week. We got uh, Coach Marcus Jones, Tina Herman, Veronica Ortega, and so many other coaches and trainers um, over there working. That's just on the go to sign side. We're not even going to talk about the other parts of the Green Organics companies. Got so much gangster stuff going on over there too, all right? So y'all have a good night, and we'll catch you on the next